Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, so first of all, I just want to thank everyone who is in the comments on my last video, which is on Star Trek Online. You guys were really, really helpful, put in a bunch of very good comments, and I will be taking a lot of them into um, consideration, like implementing the the strategies and that sort of thing. And without any further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll get into it. Today we are on back in Tracing World 4 on the Linker Einstrecke Mines to Koblenz route. I think we're at Mines. I, th I think. And today we are in the DVBR 103. This is a this is a route by Dovetail Games released in the middle of 2023. And it's very interesting because it's a German electric route, but not one that Dovetail usually does. Usually they do it in the modern day, but now we're but this one is set in the uh, very late 80s or early 90s. I can't remember which. If I'm getting it wrong, please let me know. If you can think of the exact date, please let me know down in the comments. And today we're driving this DBBR 103 Beast hauling into city coaches. The BR 103, if you didn't know, is one of the more iconic German electric locomotives. This, these things were built back in the 60s, have seven thousand horsepower that makes them almost twice as powerful as your average american freight diesel locomotive and these and they were capable of 170 miles an hour um so they're basically the predecessors to the dbbr 101 and the german intercity express or ice trains um so they were yeah they didn't they didn't have any dedicated high speed tracks to run on as you can tell that's quite loud um, is there, I've turned the air compressor off just to help with noise levels. Won't turn the, tr the transformer switch provides extra power, but I'm not going to use it. I've got the CIFA on, but not LZB or PZB, because LZB and PZB, I've never figured out how to use them. I think the cells are recycled from the BR-110 from Bremen to Oldenburg, but if I don't, I think so. Very quiet horn. Um, so what you get with this, what you get with this pack is quite interesting. You get the 101 and German intercity coaches, and you also get the Endwagen cab car, which is very interesting to drive, and the BR110. The Endwagen and the 110 are recycled from Bremen to Oldenburg, but put, but the Endwagen, but the Endwagen coaches are put in DB livery. If you have the Niedertalbahn, then that will show up on a bunch of playable surfaces over the mines to... I can't remember what set... what station that was. Uh-oh. Alright, next stop, Koblenz. So, it's a full line run. Let's do tap 5. This thing has a tap changer for steering wheel. Uh... Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, a 39-step tap changer. So quite an inter quite an interesting beast to drive. Okay, we are off. All right. There's a six two eight coming in there. If you if you have the six two eight. From if you have the Niedertalbahn, the the electric trains from this route will show up in will show up at Bad Villebel and Heldenberg and Videcken, and then also the 628 does has a bunch of timetable has like 90 playable services on Linker Einstrecke. So if you have the Niedertalbahn or Linker Einstrecke, I would advise getting. I would have, if you just have one, then I would advise getting the other as well because they are they are pretty complementary. Um, are those the very overused ice um, ice three running sounds I detect? Yes, I think so. Uh, fifteen. The obviously the one hundred three doesn't run anymore, so I'm a bit more inclined to forgive Dovetail for them reusing sounds, because obviously the 103 doesn't really run anywhere anymore, it's mainly confined to museums, so... Uh, 
50 kilometers per hour, 61 kilometers to Koblenz. So we have a section from Mainz to, I can't remember what the name of the station is. So basically it's along this section that the 628 runs. We've already done a video on that. And then after this, after this station, we start running along the Rhine River, it starts to, the track starts to wind about more. We get, go past the Rhine River and then Koblenz is up here. Sifa. This is an absolute beast of a locomotive to drive. You can't go, unlike a lot of modern German electrics, you can't go full throttle at the start or you'll blow the circuit breaker. So you have to carefully conserve your throttle and use it very carefully. You have dynamic brake, you have driver's brake, dynamic brake, and direct brake, so... Yeah, this is one of the only times in my life I wish I had a rail driver. This is actually one of Dovetail Games' better routes, I'd say. Alright, we're restricted to 100, but then we can go up to 160, nice. I must say, by Dovetail standards, really nicely modelled. For do by Dovetail standards. I think Train Sim Germany would have probably done this a bit better, but they, did, they didn't develop this route, sadly. Warning. The plebs that were coming through. Watch 30. Unsurprisingly, for a for the most powerful locomotive in T for one of the most powerful electric locomotives ever built, we're picking up speed really nicely. I.e. quickly. Really hope we don't have any bad signaling today. That's full power. Look at the rate we're increasing speed. We are, this thing absolutely pulls. The coaches seem to be using custom sounds now that we're at higher speeds. That's interesting. Normally it's the other way around for dovetail we're using sounds. This thing, um, and you may be wondering, why aren't you on the new Bahnstrecke Salzburg to Rosenheim route? Well, I don't want to get it, because it's... Nothing... Mind you, the, the BR-111 is quite an interesting... From what I've seen, it looks like quite an interesting locomotive to drive, and it overall looks pretty good. It reuses the Dosto um, double-decker coaches that we've had in the game forever. Since so what, we're Signored, I think? Or Mein Spessar, I can't remember. I don't have either of those words. Yeah. We are absolutely... Whoa. Whoa, I just pressed the wrong button. I pressed the one key instead of the Q key. I can't believe we're doing 156 on a main line. This is ridiculously fast. Um, yeah, what did I was saying about Bansteneke, Salzburg to Rosenheim. Uh, you only get the 111 at the Dostal coaches. But with the route as standard, you re basically require like five other routes. There's a 110. But, um, um, you require a bunch of other routes in order to make the timetable feel more varied and interesting. Like, you need a Vectron from TSW4's Deluxe Edition. You need, um, what was it? You, know, you need Hopstruck of Rhine Ruin to DBBR 101 for intercity services. You need the Niedertalbahn for, um, for, what was it? The 
DB Red 628 to appear and also oh, I'm trying trying to remember the other services you get. You also have other services as well. Uh, but if yeah, if you can, if any of you can remember, please tell me down in the comments. I do I do appreciate you guys' comments. Um. Um. Yeah, I the the normal root price for me is like forty five hundred yen. It's thirty five US dollars, thirty UK pounds, forty euros. No, forty US dollars, thirty five euros. 30 UK pounds, and that, that, because of the bad exchange rate between Japanese yen and, um, other world monies at the moment, uh, it feel, it's, the normal root price, even in, even if I was buying it the root in, say, dollars, it'd be far too expensive, because you don't get enough rolling stock, and you don't really get enough root for it, um, because they've, DTG put a lot of effort into modeling a shorter. Whoa, that is quite the stutter that I just had. Um, they've put a lot of the DTG, as I was saying, put a lot of effort into modeling a very short section of line, namely the section between Salzburg, Hauptbahnhof, and what was it? Rosenheim, Hauptbahnhof, which is. Another 103, when you get to city coaches. Um, which is not enough. The route should have been extended all the way to Munich, München Hauptbahnhof, which we already had in TSW with the Munich to Augsburg route. But it's just not, there's just not enough route and not enough new rolling stock to justify me getting the route for the price, it is, what, is what it boils down to. Decreasing the chat changes. I slow down for this upcoming 150 limit. Come on. I may need to get some brakes in. Okay. Brakes on. We're good. Don't tell me I have to turn the tap change off. Yeah, I do. That is annoying. Uh, wait a minute. Why can't I use? Why can't I use the power? What's going on here? Am I just being an... Okay, there we go. Let's go to, like, notch... 30. That is annoying. We've lost a lot more speed than we thought we would. Okay, there we go. It took, like, five seconds. Freaking through! Oh my goodness! Mind you, this isn't a badly modeled locomotive. It looks pretty dang good. I'm seriously impressed with this beast. Honestly, we've needed a route like this in TSW, hello, uh, for a while. And I got this at the Steam Winter Sale like um, almost two months ago now. Yeah. Alright. We do have an upcoming 150 limit. CFA. No AFB. Like on a lot of German trains I could name. All manual. Really do have to finesse the tab chain from running this base. I think this is the station where you could drive the 628 from. I think it comes in off a branch line. Can't remember what the station's name is though. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, it's Go Olgeshine.
the speed. Blends. This is the boring section of the route. We'll get into more, a more winding section later. It doesn't really look. Uh, I don't think I'll be reviewing any new routes for a while because the the next two routes that are, have released are, are going to be release releasing. Our um, um, our Bernstrecker Salzburg to Rosenheim, which came out on February 27th, um, and also the um, Suffragette line, which is what the line, which is what the Goblin line is now called. Transport for London did a bit of a rebranding. Yeah, so it's basically I'm not picking Salzburg to Rosenheim up for reasons I've already stated, and. We have an 100 limit coming up. Cutting tap changer. Um, I'll let the train dial back some of its own speed. And I'm not getting the Suffragette line, or Goblin line, whatever. It's a bit like a Twitter branding, isn't it? It's now it's Twitter rebranded to X, formerly known as Twitter. You know? Um, and it's a bit like, and it seems like Transport for London um, did basically the same thing with their turning the Goblin Line into the Suffragette Line. Oh, there's the Rhine River. We're, we're out of the boring section, as it were. Um, all right, I, think I should increase the braking. Come on, bud. Oh, we also have a bit of dynamic brakes going on too. Nice. I think some of the 103 services stop at this upcoming station, which is Bingen Rhein Hauptbahnhof. I can't really remember any of the names of the stations on this route. Oh, we've got a look. Is that a little seaport over there? Or is that. Yeah, it is. Or is it just a construction site? It's a bit of a combination. I think this is Bingen Rhein start, and then we have Hauptbahnhof coming up. All right, come on, buddy. Can't turn the tap changer back on. All right, brakes off. So get the tap changer up to notch twenty. So that was Bingen Rhein start. Oh, whoops. Come on, tap changer. This is actually a really busy express line. I'm actually pretty impressed with the timetable. The, there's another 103. The route feels decently busy. Where does this service eventually go to? Oh, it's Basel, Basel, Switzerland to Hamburg. Wow, that, that would have been a long trip in one of these? Wow. That's ser seriously impressive how they could have, how people could have stepped stood that. Nowadays it would be something like, um, nowadays it would have been, so you just hop on an ice and it's all done for you, unless Deutsche Bahn pulls a Deutsche Bahn and the train is delayed. Here's, here's Bingen Rhein Hauptbahnhof. Alright. So it's a 90 kilometer an hour limit through Bingen Rhein. We still have the vast majority of the route to go. Impressive. 20 please. So now we begin to get onto the interesting section. Okay, sorry, I I bit trailed off a bit when talking about the suffragette line, as I suppose I'll have to I've driven 103 kilometers in this thing? Impressive. Um 
what I was saying though was that the Suffragette Line is 13 kilometers of between Gospel Oak and Barking Riverside in the north of London. It's only 13 miles long. M granted, you do have a station, you do have 13 stations, so it's a rather rapid stopping pattern, but it's just boring. It, it, the, the route is too dang short. It needs to be longer. And also, there have been two major omissions. Number one, the rolling stock included is only going to be the Class 710 Adventure. Mind you, we wanted an Adventure and a game for a while, but... The... There is... But, what we should have is the Class 378 Electrostar included with the route as well, because that's a pretty iconic unit. And we don't get that. Another omission is also... What was it? A class... Sef... Oh, I can't remember. It was a, it's a little two-car diesel DMU that also run, the, used to run on the line. We don't get that either. Um, but... And there's also another major omission in the, line, in the fact... River Barge... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. There's no... Um, there's no... Wilsdon branch. That would make the route less linear and also make it more interesting and give us more service variation rather than just the linear 13 mile section between Go Gospel Oak and Bucket Riverside. And it just shows how lazy D D Dovetail is as a developer. Like, come on. We want less linear routes, Dovetail. We want black we want more Blackpool branches style routes. Okay, we do have a 120 limit coming up. We have 34 minutes to get to Coblenz. If we can maintain our average speed above 100, and 100 kilometers an hour, it should be okay. By dovetail standards is actually not too bad. It looks quite nice along here. Look at that. Okay. All right. We should hopefully be able to get a good photo here. I hope with the new photo mode. Uh, depth of field. Will that adjust anything? Oh, much better. Much better. Blurring the background? Oh, I just took two by accident. Oh, well. Alright. Oh, there's like little berms over here. Mind you, the barges, I think they're the ones that we got in Bremen to Oldenburg, but as I, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but those look reused from Bremen to Oldenburg. They're, they're the ones that you can see going back and forth under the drawbridge. I don't have Bremen to Oldenburg, but I watched Tauranga's review of it. And I don't think I'll be picking it up, if I'm being honest. Whoa, that guy's going fast. We're keeping up with him. No, wait, he's breaking. That guy looked like he was speeding. <laughs> oh, P uh, st standard traffic. Uh, standard TSW traffic, isn't it?
we're actually wow, this railway is built right in between the village and this little village here and the road. That's so cool. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's a very wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Take take back what I said. That's a castle. Nice. Cursor off. How did I do that? Okay. Frame inch is looking pretty good, hovering around forty frames, unless it stu unless it stutters, and it does stutter. Another thing I like about the design of this locomotive is the dial, the brake dials in the support pylon for the roof. That's so cool. Alright, come on, buddy. Let's get you up to speed. Oh, no, 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 no. Cut the power, 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 cut That was another big stutter. Ouch. Another thing I like about the 90s German routes is that I, I just like all the car models that TSG made for the Nieder Tollbahn and also copied onto this route. That looks pretty cool. There's a 110 over there, the cap, cap car. We go up to walk 40 up here. Impressive. We've got roads above and below the, uh, the railway line. Cool. Honestly, this is pretty picturesque. I'm liking this. Not so many semaphore signals as you would see as you see on the Nidertalbahn. These are, these are mostly standard color signals. Nice rock face on our left. Wow, that would have been pretty hair raising driving under here in real life. Where 
where are we on the route? Okay, we're about halfway, I'd say. Have a hundred limit coming up. Cut the power. If we run out of time, all I care about is completing this route. I, haven't, I don't think I've driven the whole length of this route yet. to the wriggly portion of the route. Now we're going really slowly. Now we're getting into the really... Did you see that number appear on the screen? I just had a really bright, like, number 67 in Digital Font appear there. Because I'm certainly not running 67 frames per second. Uh, certainly kind of come from this. That, okay, that's weird. I've never had that issue before. Come on, buddy. Slow down. Whoa, 90 limit. Didn't see that. Skill issue. So this is what the it looks like with just the desk light and then cap light as well done. There's a 110. Holding whatever those wagons are, I can't remember. Like there is a dovetail actually made quite a lot of custom rolling stuff for this route. Like rolling stock. Uh, freight rolling stock. Another tunnel. Yeah, you could tell that this is the scenery is definitely pre lidar era. Like the scenery, even like the scenery on like um, the Antelope Valley line, which is one of the worst routes in Train Some World by a huge margin, is better is better than this. I'd say you can tell it's been um, hand crafted, while the um, the lidar stuff has a bit more like roughness to it. Five percent grade. That's pretty. It's pretty hefty, but with seven thousand horsepower, mind you, that that will be absolutely fine. Can't be, still can't fathom how powerful this thing is. Totally bonkers. Tunnel. Very nice tunnel entrance. At, uh, tunnel portals. I'm necessary. Yeah, the headlights barely do anything. Like, you can barely tell they're even on. Oh. 
we need more river valley mountain roots in TSW for sure. We're at a 0.5% grade? Okay. Let's apply some breakage. Oh, wait. We don't need it. Um, speed limit's going up. Is that the top of the route? I wouldn't be too surprised if it... Wait a minute. Uh, man. Wait, I just saw the number. Every time I unpause, this little orange digital number appears on the screen. This time it's zero. I have not seen anything like that before. That is a... There, now it's three. That is very interesting. I have never seen that glitch in my life before. But luckily it's not game breaking. Hopefully you guys can see it too, because that was exceptionally weird. We're on a 0.4% downgrade. If you're wondering why you could hear that I got up, it was because my kerosene heater needed a button pressed. That? Wait a second. That is a Lux Luxo barge. Wow. Wouldn't mind one of those in real life. Oh, well, that is picturesque, dude. Nice custom ped blue pedestrian bridge there. minutes to go, 21 k kilometers, but that's in a straight line, we do have a bit more winding to do. Stutters. That's all I have to say. Oh, 100 limit coming up. I'll turn the tap changer all the way to way downhill. Wait, is our speed going up? Oh yeah, okay, we're good. Watch 10 online. Okay, after this short 100 section, we can go up to 130. That looks pretty bad, I must say. Very Arosa line esque. See, some of the scenery along here is not too good.
you have a Massive stutter there. Come on, Dovetail, optimize your routes. Like, I haven't seen this sort of like terrible stutter on Black. Just trains Blackpool branches or trains him Gemini's Niedertalbahn. This is like. Yeah. The worst stutter I've ever had. I was in the middle of recording a video with the Flying Scotsman on the East Coast Main Line. I passed a level crossing and it free froze, and then two minutes later. The game still being frozen at the exact same spot, the game crashed and totally basically killed my recording attempt that day. <clears throat> so that was really annoying. Where are we? Okay, we're just approaching the long curve. And then we get to basically wind around and then come down into what minutes. Thing credit the brakes do release really quickly. That's one of my bugbears with the 628. The brakes just take forever to release. Lots of old castles. going. And then 110 and 120 limits coming up. Nice. Are we heading downhill? I think we are. Okay. Very a sweeping cut. Two sweeping hairpin bends and then still following the right we have 13 minutes to do the 12, probably more than that, kilometers into Koblenz. I hope we run on time. I just don't know at this point. Shows how busy a line this is.
Let's use the 7,000 horsepower. Come on, buddy. Look at the speed increase. This thing absolutely... This thing kicks you in the butt when it, with its acceleration. Dude. Cut the power back a bit. So we don't have an overspeed. I will get a platinum today because that only applies to newer routes and trains of one four, but then then I made after trains in one four, but hopefully Okay, we're now running at pretty significant velocity. to Koblenz. Now coming around the second of the sweeping hand events. It takes energy to drive this thing. to go and it's basically in a straight line. We have 10 minutes to do the 10 kilometers and we should be, hopefully, the speed limits will allow us to keep more within time. That's the fifth 103 we've seen today. There are more express trains on this line than local zones, so that's pretty impressive. Only a f There's only a few routes in TSW which I can say that, except for the dedicated high-speed routes like East Coast Main Line, Kassel to Wurzburg. We're heading uphill all the way along this route. Coming the Koblenz Doing the Koblenz to Mike's run would be interesting for sure. And there's a 110, nice. Four kilometers to go, still no sign of a new speed restriction. I wonder how many people have actually got this route and have done the full run in 103. That would be interesting to do like a poll and find out. There's some apartment blocks over there. Interesting.
four kilometers. We are running pretty much on time. We've got like seven minutes to do the 3.7 Ks. And oh, we've got a 40 limit coming up just as we get into Koblenz. Okay, I have to deploy the single brakes if I want to stop in time. Tap changer off because the rest of the way. I want to slow down too rapidly. Really bad over speed. That's, this, could, this could get interesting. Luckily, the brakes are pretty powerful, so I don't think I have to worry about no speed. Can we? We're in the. Well, we're in the Germany would be the equivalent of suburbs. Okay. Brakes are a bit finicky. There we go, coming into Koblenz Yard. 700 meters to go. I'd say that was a pretty successful run, but I must have... That was a lot of red signals, look at that. Must have, um, over... Be too cocky too early because we have not pulled into the station yet. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Come on, bud. Yeah. That was a pretty bad overspeed. 10. Here we go. Cool blends, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the ride. There's like a red signal right after my stopping point. I might want to stop early. Yeah, look, there's a red signal, like, right there. Hopefully I won't have to use the emergency brake. I'll go to this view. I know it's cheating, but I'll use this view. Oh, we are so on time. We're three minutes ahead of schedule. That is... Noise. I was spamming the horn button there because I'm pretty impressed with my work. Full service. Powerful brakes coming into effect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. We did it. The 103. Oh, this is, this is a good locomotive. And I also like the details, like the grill. Look at the details on it up there. Really nicely weathered. All right. I have to load up the old passengers. Look at that. Sick. Good thing we didn't have an, over, an overrun because to have the run ruined now would have been really bad. All right. Whoa, what in the heck? I'm not touching anything, please don't crash. Okay, there we go. Gold medal, nice. This is driven 91.7 kilometers. Nice. Turn to free roam, let's get out. Uh, am I stuck? Yeah, I'm stuck in the seat there. I have to get out this side of the road. We're moving, uh-oh. I'm stuck. Okay, that. Watch the train leave. Custom gas tankers over there, nice. You can tell the reused Ice 3 sounds. But once you get up to speed, the coaches do sound better. Oh, 
Okay. And that is where I think I'll leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.